couple of years ago in January, I spent a day photographing at a reflection pool and I, I enjoyed it. So I made the decision that I'm going to try and make my own for free. I have uh, plenty of kind of purple slate and stones, etc. I'm going to use a grow bag tray. Um, I've got some old fence posts and battens. Um, I've got my hide, I've got my tripod on my camera so I can set up and see what height we need. So today I'm just going to take some measurements and get a frame built, I think, for it to sit in. And then I'm going to uh, figure it out from there. pallet wood. Um, I'm making it 34 inches high. Always check twice. lovely jubbly 38 let me because these 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 posts have got a slight lip on them which is going to work to my advantage for seating this for sure I may go deeper with the tray, it depends on what I need, but I can always I can always cut a few pieces in there just to help give it some strength if I need it. But I haven't I don't know quite what I'm putting there yet. But I do think it'll be a bank of grass, maybe even some seed, springs coming up, and then we'll have some wild seed. To just help with kind of bokering out the background a bit more. But I'm going to use a couple of bungs for these two holes here just so that I can drain it down if I want to, save having to tip it if I need to empty it. I'm just putting a little bit of silicon in it so that if I want to drain it out, I can peel the silicon off and put the little bungs out, um, drain it down, clean it, and for the sake of like three seconds of silicon, it's worth doing. Let me use a spatula. Let me make it so it doesn't stick to it. These spatulas are worth their weight in gold because sometimes I will cut strips of sandpaper put on there so I've got like a little sanding block and there's enough flex in them as well so 
they're quite handy. Right, I can still use that one, that'll be fine. I'll leave that there. Okay, let's start again in the morning. Well, as you've just seen, it took me about, about an hour to, uh, to put that frame together yesterday. And now I want some, some moss and some stones to put over around the back of it. So I've come to my local patch to grab some. It's quite chilly this morning. It's three degrees and there's a bit of a breeze so I don't know what it is with that added to it but I've left the diesel heater one in the van that's for sure so when I get back that'd be nice and toasty all I've brought with me today is uh, here's the drone uh, GoPro binoculars so other than the collecting boss I'm just gonna have a have a walk around today it's not exactly nice and lush and green it's a typical kind of wintery morning may see the buzzard around today if I'm lucky very overcast it's rained a couple of times already this morning don't expect to see much in the way of wildlife other than the occasional sheep maybe I'm just using my little pack just to allow me to bring a few things with me I don't always want to carry my big camera bag so okay Well, I've got a carrier bag full. I've uh, collated it from not just this one patch, but within about maybe a 60 foot radius. I didn't want to just take it all from one spot. I'm sure it wouldn't make any difference, but, uh, but why take the risk? So uh, now I'm gonna put you away and have a walk for the day. And then I'll catch up with you later on back at the lair. Well it's the following day, I had a good day out yesterday, nice walk. Um, collected plenty of moss, um, a few leaves just to put amongst it and I have a tub of slate which I have had and used for various projects throughout the years. Um, Right, so the next thing I'm going to get the glue gun out and start gluing some of the slates down. Yeah. Right, well I think 
I think that's going to be my starting grid. So I'll put a few. I'll, um, I'll get a few leaves on it as well, I think. Like maybe some in the water. If I can separate them. There's a few on the moss there. Let's get rid of the glue gun, glue gun sticky stuff. I think um, to have the leaves there and the image would be nice. So that is going to be the angle, I think. Well, I think my next next thing to do is to just put it out there in the workshop, in the open part of the workshop. It's covered and it's raining today, but um, I think if I if I just bung it in here, I can um, I can set it up, put my camera on the tripod, and uh, we can see what kind of angle we've got. Oh, well, it looks promising. I don't have a uh, I don't have a real bird. So I've got a little, little wooden robin. Well, let's set the camera up and uh, see how it looks. Right, well that, that kind of works. Yeah, I might need to, um, if I pull out much further, you tend to see the side frames. The portrait, that is lovely. Pleased with that. I think that's come out pretty well considering that's just uh, the first kind of go. What I shall do now is, I'll not drop the camera, what I'll do now is I shall wait until the weather's nicer and then put this out in the garden and my hide and give it a go. See you in the hide.